what is going on guys welcome back to another video today i'm going to show you how to flush out a cooling system on a chevy silverado now this vehicle is having a hard time staying cool um, and i see that it has the red fluid right here so what i'm going to do is convert it to this green one right here so i'm going to be using peak um, antifreeze that's concentrated and i'm going to go ahead and mix it with some distilled water now before you're able to do this you have to first drain out all the red um, cooling out of the system so that there's no um, issues with the mixture um, also it's very important for you to use distilled water um, if you use tap water your cooling system is going to get rusty since it has minerals so make sure you're using distilled water when you guys are flushing out your system um, it's okay to um, use a hose and fill out the system with um, tap water to drain all the fluid out of the cooling system but you don't want to leave it on there for too long because like i said it's going to build up minerals and it's going to um, rust up the engine so um, we're going to go ahead and do that right now so go ahead and stay tuned the first thing that we're going to do is go underneath the vehicle and drain out the old coolant when you're underneath the vehicle, go ahead and look for the drain plug that is going to remove all of the coolant out of the radiator and the engine. On this particular truck, it's a 2001 Chevy Silverado and right here in the corner on the top um, right side of the uh, radiator, I'll go ahead and leave a little arrow to where I'm pointing. Um, there is a drain plug that you need to remove. Go ahead and unscrew that drain plug and the coolant should drain out of the vehicle. Now you want to make sure that the vehicle is not too hot because you can burn yourself and you also want to make sure that you have a catch can or some kind of pan to collect the coolant so that it doesn't spill all over the place. So as you guys can see the fluid is coming out of this hose right here um, but it's also going to be coming out from the side. So. Just make sure that you have something to catch the fluid so it doesn't make a mess. If you look through the engine bay, you're actually going to be able to see the drain plug a little bit better. So if you look down there, there's a plug with two tabs sticking out of it. That's why you want to go ahead and rotate to remove the coolant out of the vehicle. As you guys can see, it is going to be a little bit of a messy job. But at least we're going to go ahead and put some fresh fluid in here. now. It is taking a little bit longer to remove all of the fluid out of the reservoir right here. So what I'm going to do is turn on the vehicle momentarily so that we can drain all of the old coolant out of the vehicle. As you guys can see with the vehicle on, it did remove most of the coolant out of the reservoir. Now what we're going to do is plug up the radiator and we're going to go ahead and fill it up with some hose water from tap water. And we're going to run the engine for a little bit so that I can circulate all that water throughout the system. And then we're going to drain it again. And we're going to do this about four to five times just so that we can remove um, all of the old coolant out of the vehicle. So go ahead and get a funnel. And we're going to go ahead and fill up the reservoir with some tap water so that we can flush out the system even more. With the coolant system filled up, we're going to go ahead and turn on the vehicle so that we can let that water circulate the cooling system. Go ahead and turn our fan speed to high. And then we're also going to go ahead and turn our heat on. Um, as soon as we start feeling that there's warm air coming out of the vents, that's when we're going to know that the um, cooling system is fully circulated. So that's when we want to go ahead and drain the water again so that we can get all the old cooling out of the system it's been about 20 minutes that i've let the vehicle idle now if i touch the ac vents they're nice and warm so that's how we know that the cooling system has fully circulated so it's gone through the heater core and it's going through the system and it's basically removing all of the old um, cooling out of the cooling system so now what we want to do is repeat this process about four to five times to make sure that we get a, a good flush and that there's no old cooling in the system so I've repeated this process about four to five times now and as you guys can see the water is clear now. So what I'm going to do now is mix my antifreeze so that we can have a 50-50 mixture like how you see right there. And then once we do that we're going to go ahead and fill up the car again or actually the truck 
and we're gonna go ahead and let it idle for about 20 minutes um, until we feel the hoses right here nice and hot um, and you also want to go ahead and do the same test as far as um, what we did earlier and make sure that there's um, heated air coming out of the vents I'm just letting the vehicle drain one more time but just look at the progress that we made today so we went from this color right here which is the original that was in the vehicle to clear and to a 50 50 mixture of antifreeze so this color right here is going to help the car cool off much better and right now like i said we're just finishing up and after that we're just going to go ahead and add our 50 50 mixture i have half distilled water and i'm going to add half concentrated um, antifreeze so once we have that 50 50 mixture we're going to go ahead and add it to the vehicle and let it run until it reaches um, operating temperature Left the vehicle idle for about 20 minutes again. As you guys can see, our operating temperature is right in the middle. Our AC heat right here is nice and hot. So this is pretty much gonna conclude the end of the video. If you guys did like what you guys saw, please make sure to give me a thumbs up and I'll see you guys all in the next video.